Can you hear the little kids outside? Well, not really little. They're mostly eighth graders. I think one of them's a freshman. I don't know. But anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Today I'm talking about something that I live by, that I have lived by for all 16 years of my life, and not many people like me for it, but it I, I like doing it. It's what I do. And that is the above the influence. And most people, they talk about how uh, you're stronger when you do this, and all of that. And a lot of that's true. Yeah, you're stronger, but I feel like I'm not sure exactly what to say. Because it doesn't matter what I say about how much I despise smoking and drinking. Because I know people are going to do it, and you know, I accept it. I don't care that anybody does it. Um, I do mind if you do it around me. That kind of freaks me out. I, I hate it when people are smoking or drinking around me. Unless unless you're of age. If you're underage and you're smoking and drinking and you're kind of like rubbing it in my face that you're doing it, it kind of pisses me off. But you know what? If you're going to do it, go ahead and do it. I don't really care. I'm here to talk about why I do it. I do it because... Um, I feel that if I were depressed or if I had a problem, I feel like it's not something I would turn to. It's not what I would go for to help me because drinking can make you more depressed. So I don't know how that's supposed to help me. And smoking, uh, people say that when you, um, people, people say that if you smoke, it kind of makes you feel more relaxed and stuff, and it's better than hurting yourself. There's something a little bit wrong with that. Now, there are some right things with that. Don't get me wrong. It definitely, I don't doubt that it makes you feel relaxed or anything like that, because, you know, I've never smoked, so I don't know. But when you smoke, people say that it's better than hurting yourself. When you smoke you need to realize that you are hurting yourself. It's just slower. I've got... I'm not going to throw out names whatsoever, but I have friends, and some of them do smoke. I, don't, I wouldn't even consider them much as friends, more as acquaintances, because if you smoke, then you're probably not my friend. That's not... It's not because you smoke that you're not my friend. It's just I don't, I don't usually hang around the people that do. They're more like acquaintances that'll make jokes with in the hallway and stuff. Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> I keep, I keep losing track of what I'm doing, because those freaking kids out there are so loud. You can just hear them all jumping in the pool. It's getting to me. So, damn, I actually forgot what I was saying. You know what, I'm gonna try and change this up, because... Anyways, when you're, when you're smoking, I, I hate it when people say, well, it's much better than me cutting myself or hurting myself. It may be a little bit better than that, but you're still hurting yourself. It's not its not helping you. It might help you for the five minutes that you're smoking, but it's not going to help you any farther than that. The way, when I'm depressed, and if you've watched my vlogs long enough, you know I get depressed really, really easily. Like, I have, and I live a good life, I would say. But I still deal with depression. My grandparents, they're the nicest people ever. But they have to take medication for depression. And I think that's where I got this from. And I feel like you don't need to do that stuff to make yourself feel better. You can find a new outlet. I know people can. It's really easy. Like, video making. That's a great one for me. When I'm depressed, I come and I talk on my vlogs. And it really helps me outlet any bad energy I might have inside me. That sounded really weird. But that's just how I thought it. And I... F hmm. Hmm. I don't... It's really hard for me to talk about this stuff because I know no matter what I say, I'm going to get hate for this. Let, let's just face facts. I'm going to get hated on for talking about people smoking and people drinking. And I'm not saying exactly that it's wrong. 
I'm just saying it's not good. It's not going to help you as much as you think it is. You're like lying to yourself that you... you I feel, no matter what I say, this isn't going to come out the way that I want it to. It's really difficult to talk about this stuff when your friends all hate you. Well, not all of them, but a majority of your friends hate you because you don't like any of this stuff. It's really, really difficult to talk about this stuff when you know people are going to come back and they're going to hate on you for talking about any of this stuff because they feel it's a completely normal thing to do. People say that smoking makes you feel average. And people... Okay, I'm never going to throw out a name. Ever. But let's say this one person says they feel less judged when they smoke and it makes them feel average. If you're smoking to get away from the judgment, I to me, it just kind of seems like a cowardly thing to do. It seems like you could find an outlet to do this, and without smoking, it's much easier. You can try and be an individual. Don't, don't go and do what everybody else is doing and try and fit in. That's no fun. Why would you just go with the crowd? Why would you let people's judgment get to you and cloud your mind so you just go and take a cigarette to make yourself feel better. I feel like you shouldn't have to do that. You can find a much better way to deal with stuff. And maybe maybe it's just because I've never smoked or drank before or I've never had something bad enough to make me think about doing that stuff happen to me. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's because I don't know where the smoking and drinking people are coming from and I just look like a huge idiot and asshole right now talking about it. But you know what? This is how I feel about it. So, that's pretty much it. I didn't, I don't even think I got my point across to anybody who's watching this. So, you know, I'm gonna go. So links to everything is down below. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And check out the new film teams that I'm going to be working with in the future. I'll probably be featured in a new Carry the Four video. And I'll hopefully have to classify productions appear in something pretty soon. See you guys sometime again this summer. Transition out, everybody.